So to disassemble the transmission, there are a couple of bolts that hold the bell housing. But before that, we need to remove a couple of bolts. Let me see if I can show you. There we go. That are holding the flywheel. See those over there, there we can see one and we'll have to rotate the crankshaft so we'll have to uh, turn basically the engine uh, so we can have access to all of them. Now the key question which we kind of theoretically know is the following. Is the 2JC, the one that is coming from the Aristo, interference or non-interference? As you can see, I have both of, both of the camshafts at top dead center, crankshaft as well. And now we are going to see if I blew the engine or if it's actually non-interference. Okay, non-interference, good, let's start taking those balls out. That is ready guys quite confused i put it as a one ton and the sticker says half of a ton the transmission beautiful bikes <laughs> but yeah let me show you quite quite excited I mean it, it went out so far so good uh, I don't want to be too happy yet uh, I usually make a lot of mistakes and then I regret so let's keep the positive mood let's keep the positive mood so far so good engine sun is ready now we need to remove this plate and in order to remove this plate we will have to loosen and remove all of these 14 millimeter bolts and therefore it's probably that the crank is going to turn so I just hijacked the crank with this thing here we're gonna see if this thing works uh, yeah and if not we're gonna give it a try with the impact wrench Okay guys, what a journey so far. Let me show you what's next. Now is the moment that we'll put the engine on the stand. But this is the interesting thing. This has like a spacer on it. So we need a bolt that would be strong enough to hold the engine. We'll have four bolts out of this thing. But the length, I'm gonna give it a try with the 70 millimeters and see how this thing goes. So let me basically show you. Uh, this is the one that I was able to get. and. I'm happy because the grade of this thing, the resistance of this thing is, is in a 10.9 category. So it's pretty strong bolt. And here the dimensions that I was telling you before, in this case is an M12, 125 is gonna be the thread and the length is 70 millimeters. Main idea is that we put this through the um, engine stand and then that we're gonna able to grab it and adjust it here like this and then we're gonna torque this ok 
Hey guys, I'm really, really pumped to see finally the engine standing here. You know, this was an episode with a lot of things for me to crack the code and understand which engine stand should I get, where to get it from, then what bolts should I use to grab properly the engine to the stand and so on and so forth. You know, disassembly, the automatic transmission, a lot of learnings, tiny things, but a lot of learnings. And I'm really happy about it because it gives me a boost, it gives me energy, and although I suffer anxiety, Although I do suffer a lot of anxiety in terms of when this is going to be done, when the car is going to be working, why I'm taking so long. You know, here's the word that I want to share with all of you, which hopefully is a word of wisdom and helps you if you suffer anxiety as well, which is within a big aspiration, within a big goal, it's very important to set up specific tiny faces and within those phases be able to achieve and accomplish is that feeling of accomplishment the one that makes you feel happy the one that makes you feel that you are actually making progress so setting goals that are gonna be achievable that are gonna be something that you can focus on and basically in the long run are gonna make in this case this car hopefully <laughs> run again I think that's one of the words of wisdom that I really want to share with all of you. If you're watching, I hope this helps you. So, sorry, it got a bit long here, but uh, catch you in the next one. Peace out.